What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony and today we are finally in the new 2020 Jeep Gladiator, specifically Overland trim level. This is gonna be a specific review for that specific trim level. I keep saying specific, but anyways, Overland trim being essentially the equivalent to the Sahara trim on the Wrangler. So I've always liked the Sahara trim. That's why I wanted to check out this one today. So as always, let's just jump right into it and let's start with pricing. And so pricing for the 2020 Jeep Gladiator Overland will start at $40,395. Powering the Beast is going to be a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6, putting out 285 horsepower, 260 pound-feet of torque. Power is going to be sent to all four wheels through a part-time four-wheel drive system, and that power is sent to ground through a standard six-speed manual, but we do not have that one today. We do have the optional eight-speed automatic. If you were interested in that, simply add $2,000 to the price there, but overall MPG numbers come in at 7 17 in the city, 22 on the highway. Top speed is going to be 110 miles per hour in case you were interested. Zero to 60, approximately 7.2 seconds. Still having said that and a little straight away in front of me, let's go ahead and hit the gas. All right, well, certainly wouldn't call it fast, but this is a heavier truck, so you can imagine. Shouldn't have any issues with merging onto the highway or anything like that, but still definitely not the quickest thing in the world. But to go along with that acceleration, when it comes to braking, I've had no issues with the braking feel. Braking feel feels fine. There's no brake pedal delay or anything like that. Touching on suspension and handling, this Jeep Gladiator Overland does come with a normal duty plus suspension, so that is gonna be slightly different from some of the other trim levels. Standard Dana 44 front and rear axle, heavy duty shocks and so now having touched on all that I think probably the thing that impressed me the most on the Gladiator is the ride quality I mean it's not gonna be like a luxury vehicle like BMW or Lexus or something like that but still it is a lot a heck of a lot smoother than the Wrangler in my opinion so very impressed with the ride quality probably the most surprising thing that I love about the Gladiator as far as cabin noise goes there is a little bit of cabin noise but I guess that is to be expected you can basically remove every panel on this thing so there's gonna be a little bit of cabin noise it's not too bad though they want to mention another optional feature that we do happen to have today called a track lock anti spin rear differential this one adding $595 to the price but with this it automatically distributes torque to the wheel with the most traction helping reduce wheel spin and of course traction in slippery situations so that's definitely nice and then taking a look at visibility it is a truck you never really have any issues with visibility because the top section pretty much is a box so visibility is just fine for me no issues there and I also do happen to have the blind spot information system located in the side mirrors that's going to be the little triangle there but that's another optional safety package i'll get a little more into that when i touch on safety but for now let's go ahead and hop out of the gladiator now and let's start by taking a look at the exterior of this awesome looking jeep gladiator and so starting up front you're not going to find any jeep insignias or jeep lettering or anything like that because the grill essentially speaks for itself and when it comes to that front grill the overland trim is specifically going to give you silver accents that's one of the things i like about this specific trim level as far as the headlights go they will come standard halogen headlights with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out they will turn on automatically for you so you don't have to worry about that just below that you're going to have fog lights as well and i did want to mention an optional package that we do actually have today the led lighting package that goes for 995 dollars that not only is going to give you led headlights up here but also led fog lights led lighting right here and led tail lights as well and overall when it comes to ground clearance the overland trim level that we have today comes in in an even 10 inches in case you were curious then make our way to the side of the gladiator perhaps the main reason i love the overland trim level is body colored fender arches will come standard and that of course is an option on some of the other trims but it is standard on the overland although it probably wouldn't have made a big difference with the exterior of this one being black but still like that it's there trail rated badging also found right behind there and of course with this one we do have black side steps that actually come standard as well when it comes to the roof a soft top is going to come standard however there are plenty i think like two or three different hard top options including a body color hard top if you want it by the way the body colored hard top i believe goes for 2295 dollars however the black hard top they do happen to have today actually only adds 1195 dollars and i'll show you guys how to open up that a little bit a little later in the video but now Let's make our way to the back on this one. And so first thing in the back I wanted to mention, specific to the Overland trim level again, is the silver accents. So the silver Jeep right here and also the silver Overland trim level badging down there. 
silver accents kind of being the theme for the Overland trim level at least. As far as the taillights go, they are incandescent taillights that come standard. However, again, since we have the LED lighting group, these are actually LED taillights that you're looking at right now. So do you happen to like that? And just below it all, if you go down a little bit further here, you will find a single exhaust outlet right there, tucked neatly away so you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. And so, but now, since we are round back, once you open up this rear tailgate, and it's a very slow open, so that's kind of nice, but once opened up, payload capacity actually comes in at 1,160 pounds. As far as towing capacity goes, that is gonna come in at an even 6,000 pounds. So, also wanted to mention, there's some more LED lighting, of course, in the bed of the truck. You have some LED lights on both sides, so that's gonna be there for you, too. But now, let's make our way to the back seats on this one. Now that we're in the back seats, rear legroom comes in at 38 inches. You guys can see that is how much space I had. So I can fit comfortably back here. And this is me sitting behind my own driving position as well. So again, even six feet tall, this is how much space I had. There is also rear ventilation for the rear passengers back there, as well as the buttons to roll up and down those side windows here. They're actually gonna be located just underneath the rear air vents. And guys, if you're familiar with Jeeps, you know why they do that, because of course all these doors are removable. So if you have them on the doors, that may create a a little bit of an issue so that's why they put them there also just below that you got plenty of hookups for smartphones and things like that and you have two rear cup holders right there as well and what do you know there is a rear center armrest with cup holders you have some speakers for the rear passengers as well there also do want to mention those rear seats do fold down there is a 60 40 split for a little added versatility in those rear seats as well and of course the back window here which you could slide open and close manually so that is pretty cool that that is back there as well but now let's make our way up to the front seats but so now that we are in the front seat they do come manually adjustable with a cloth finish that is the standard setup at least however there is a leather finish available of course that we do have today that adds an additional $1,495 if you were interested there but I do like the Overland insignia at the very top there as well so that is pretty cool but taking a look up front there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel it does come with a leather finish and when it comes to this startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your Jeep insignia on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock and I actually do have a remote start today. That is another option. That particular option goes for $495. Along with that option, I do have keyless entry as well. So that is how I was greeted when I first got in this one. So never need to take the key out of your pocket, which is always nice. But even if you did not go with those options, there is a push button start just by the driver's right knee. So what I'm going to do now, simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there. And so, but then once started up, tachometers on your left, speedometers on your right. There is a small digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display. Simply use the steering wheel mounted controls on the left side there, but that is gonna give you things like your digital speedometer. Also, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's your tire pressure, off-road status. There's a ton of different things you can check out there, honestly. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the interior quality. First thing I wanted to mention, first thing I saw in the driver's seat at least, is there is a rubberized tray just above the tech display up here so that is pretty cool you put your phone in there or some other valuables it won't slide around that's why it's rubberized of course with this being somewhat of an off-road vehicle of course again those buttons for the power windows are located just in front of the shifter in case you were curious where those were and there will be all kinds of charging ports again right in front of the shifter including a usb charging port so that is definitely nice as well but now before we get to the tech real quickly let me show you guys how to go ahead and at least take off this first section i'm not going to go into too much detail but essentially to take off this section right above my head in the driver's seat there are four different clips there's one just above the sun visor there there's one in the center and then there are two in the back here basically just turn 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 and flip this one down and this comes off but we're gonna go ahead and put it back on now let's make our way to the tech display on this one. And so the standard setup will be a Uconnect 4 seven inch color touchscreen display. It will come with Bluetooth and audio streaming as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. All of that comes standard no matter what. That is a great thing. 
However, there is an optional 8.4 inch color touchscreen display. We do have that option. That one goes for $1,595. That is gonna add in addition to that, of course, besides a larger screen, factory navigation as well. And it's also gonna give you an Alpine nine speaker sound system with 522 watts. And again, since that's what we have today, let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. Ton of loudness, ton of bass, very impressive. It is a good bit of wattage for this size of a truck, so definitely no issues with the Alpine sound system that we have today. But then last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention is when you do put the Gladiator in reverse, you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there will be front and side impact airbags. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. You will also find standard hill start assist, which is gonna be a great thing if you want with a manual transmission. And then I did wanna also mention the Jeep Active Safety Group. This one goes for $995, but this option is gonna give you a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, rear park assist, and LED taillights. If you did not already go with the LED lighting group, of course. But in addition to that, another option for $795 is adaptive cruise control with forward collision warning. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.